Welcome back to the Gunner and Chef Show. We are back. We are here with new Belgium Voodoo Ranger, but not the normal. We have the Imperial IPA, which instead of being 7, is 9% ABV. And instead of being 50 IBU, it is 70. So, ouch. That's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. It's yeah, gonna, it's going to be wonderful. It's going to be fine. It's going to be rainbows and roses. Something with something. And something else. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Look with strings. These are a few of our favorite things. <laughs> Fort Collins, Colorado. They also do some stuff in Asheville, which is uh, in North Carolina. Okay. This is, this is an Imperial India Pale Ale. I've been to Asheville. Yeah? Yeah? What'd you think? No, I'll stay here, thanks. Namaste. <laughs> Namaste, <laughs> Namaste here. Namaste here. <laughs> <laughs> Black Mole Hops, Delta, Bravo. It sounds like I'm talking in military ease. It does. But, you know, yeah, there's, there's Delta Hops, Bravo Hops, Centennial, Cascade, Calypso and Mosaic. It's got quite a load of hops. Yep. So uh, it just kind of scares me a little bit. Calypso sounds neat though. It sounds like there should be like, yeah, steel drums and ding 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 ding. Yeah, you yeah, know, ought to be all cool. We can stop now. Okay. Okay, great. Voodoo Ranger Imperial IPA. Let's sniff it. Let's sniff away. Oh, and this is what it looks like. It's fairly clear. It's not hazy at all. It had great head, as you can see, as most IPAs do. Yes, yes, indeed. Very leggy, nice white top on it. It's very clear. It's not cloudy at all. New Belgium, let's have a sniff. Yeah. Pine. Yep. Pine, pine, and then some more pine. And then some more pine? Does it make you want to go fishing in the mountains? <sighs> like at Trinity Lakes or something like that? No, it makes me want to spit that pine needle out. Makes me want to go fishing. Mm. Now, fishing's about lake smells and worm guts and... and Cut know, bait. Yeah. Yeah. Happy smells. Yeah. Dead carp. I love dead carp. Pine, 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 and more pine. Well, let's find out if you're right. <sighs> Skull, my friend. Skull. Mm. Oh. oh, I'm going to say that's really sweet. Oh. Did you just stomp on the floor? Sorry, I couldn't help it. Wow. It had to go somewhere. Brutal. Oh. oh, you see, it's just too much for you, huh? Oh, boy, that is that is more like a 90 IBU. It is, yeah, really piney. It's almost kind of sweet up front, and then it just... <clears throat> but no, and, bit, no bitter finish for me at no, all. No, not really. Just super, super hoppy. <clears throat> yeah, it, it, <laughs> it is hoppy up front, a little bit on the sides of the tongue, but, but I think overall the flavor is... Divine. All right, on. Whenever you drink an IPA, it's not a sipping beer. It's when you want to gulp a couple of times. So, you know, Gunnar has taught me that over the years. So I took two big hits and wow. <laughs> two big hits. <laughs> yeah, it sounded bad. You know yeah. what I mean. <clears throat> Gulps, whatever. <laughs> Slugs. We came from the 80s. Everything was a hit. Yeah. Uh, mmm. Man. Okay. That's, oh. that, that's quite dandy. It was better oh. the second time. You get kind of used to an idea. Oh. That a lot of us, when they first hit the scene, we started drinking these and we were like, what the actual foxtrot is this? Yeah. But after a while, it's... Mm. That, now, wow. It's funny. The first swallow killed me. I took two more big hits. It was actually kind of nice. It was sweet. Yeah. And just, I don't know. It, yeah. I didn't make pirate face or anything. What the hell's happening to me? <laughs> What did I tell you in season one? What's going to happen to him? <laughs> He's going to be a become a beer snob. And, you know, we're trying not to be beer snobs. We just want to be hmm. beer delivery vessels agents. People. Taste. Beer delivery taste vessel agents. Yes, that too. <laughs> <laughs> now, see, now I'm getting bitter on the, on the, the way finish. But up front... It's just kind of light, piney, sweet, citrusy, nice, and then it turns into that acid kind of. Uh, yeah, to, for, for me, the alpha acid comes in the form of a feeling, not much of a taste. 
but more of a more of a needly, not pine needle per se, but uh, just just kind of that that acidic tickle. Tickle, yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, and for me, it's just a it's a taste, not a tickle. Wow, I wish I could taste that. Yeah, I know. I wish we could swap tongue. Well, never mind. Really. <laughs> you know, if if you Tasters. could, if you could, mean? if you could see color, yeah. I would give you that for at least a day and a half. Yeah, if you trade eyeballs with me for a day, I just want to see what the world looks like to you. That would be uh, amazing. I wish you could see color, man. I see color. I just don't think I see it the way you all see it. I started out thinking, Ugh, and now I'm like, mm -hmm, okay, that is definitely very interesting. I don't know that I would go right out and drink those all the time, but if I had to have one, I could do it. Absolutely cool. Thank you, New Belgium. Voodoo Ranger Imperial IPA. Um, we've had a great time with this one. We hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. There are, uh, from what I understand, good ships. Oh, you know, and I've heard of wooden ships. Ships that perhaps sail a sea? But I've heard that the best ships... I come to understand that those are French ships. Yeah, and I hope they always be... <laughs> They're so full of <laughs> friggin' weird. Yep, Chef can't see it. You're going to have to put cones out. <laughs> I don't know about cones. Hey, there we go. Now I'm getting the, the FaceTime I deserve. Ooh, yes. Nice swirl. Hey, these are nice cups. We, we got this. We got these at uh, Kodo's. Kodo, yeah. Uh, Kodo's Brewing Company in uh, Twin Falls, Idaho. Wow, surprisingly good. That first hit, I thought it was going to die. Oh, don't do that. Ha, ha, ha.